Welcome to the high school production of Legally Blonde. We are happy that you are joining us here tonight. The play is approximately two hours long with a ten minute intermission. We would like to remind you all to please turn off your cell phones and enjoy the show.
sip of shiny silk. It'll pucker. And we finished the sip of shiny silk. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm not going to buy last week's dress out. It's going to be a surprise. So I'm surprised. Do that film girl fly. It's going to be perfect for all of us. Future's all planned. I 
I've got some dreams to make too. I thought that you'd understand. It's time to get serious. Time to get serious. Check, please.
were just sitting, dancing at ethnic movements. <laughs> this is a very bad presentation. And I saw them see one reason because of the How about love? Huh. You've ever been in love. <laughs> if you have, you'll know. That love is never felt a defeat. No challenge can be. No way we can up. You got 
the hardest? What? Like it's hard. Uh, I think this one's yours. Is one, it my comma L? Is it my social agenda? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it, it's trapped in the cluster. Right. There's that. Okay. Anyway, let's totally catch up your class. Who is she? Reading. 
<laughs> right, who was I reading for the first day of class? <laughs> <laughs> You've got gossip, Miss Foot. Miss Kensington. Let us say, if you took class at Harvard Law, it was this year that you're just in front of that. But a girl whom you call hasn't read the case at all. Did you let it go, or...? No. I threw her out. Huh. All right, then. You heard your name. Trust me, not the end of your law career. Law career? So not the problem. How do I get back in with Werner? Um, well, I guess you can come back tomorrow and do your reading. Okay. Excuse me! Hi. Why would you do that? Do what? We both have to stick together. We can't make ourselves look good by making each other look bad. <laughs> I didn't make you look bad. You just weren't prepared. How about next time opening a law book? But I should warn you, they don't come with pictures. I'll give you too late a moment then. Are there girls going wild somewhere without you? Warner! Oh, you want to hear? I'm sorry. Sorry about what? Warner, is there something you'd like to tell Elle? You two know each other? Vivi and I went to boarding school together, and she's my girlfriend now. I'm sorry, I just hallucinated your wife. He said I'm his girlfriend. Girlfriend? What? <laughs>
you with Paulette, so you're on good hands. I'm sort of like all states, except for hair. <laughs> all right, how can I help you? Okay. I need to make you a brunette. What? A brunette? Honey, you're a genetic lotto. All right, all right, something else is going on here. Paulette's listening, still. I came to Elwood, and I came here all the way from California for Harvard Law School. That's a good school. I know, right? But anyway, I came here to follow my one true love, Warner, Honey from the Third, but now he's... He's... He's dating an evil puppy. What she got that you don't? Three belly buttons? No. She's serious. No, seriously. Does she have three belly buttons? No, she's a contemplated publisher with a mouthy brown bob. That's the kind of girl Warner wants. You have to make me a brunette. Do you know the number one reason behind all that hair to do? No. Love. You're lost without your love. Your heart is on the floor. I can help you. I've been there before. When I need to relax, I just put on some tracks. From the CD I bought for the store. You
like to speak on the house? So you said. Just think of it. Future presidents are in this very room. I'm going to go check down Robert Coleman if he doesn't to be a part of our study group. Apparently, his house with two houses down from just get together. Great. I'm going to go get a beer. Don't forget me for not weeping at your table. 
Well, excuse me, just because you've got some kind of chip on your shoulder? You know what? You're right. There's a chip on my shoulder. No, that sounds highly negative. Look, I'm being honest. When you wear more privilege, you gotta work twice as hard. And hold the pleasure back. Wait! So you worked three jobs and you went to law school? I haven't slept since 1998. Seriously, how did you do it? Well, I don't go to parties a lot. Not for you, but the time that I've got is tested out. My hair is <laughs> you drink a lot of Red Bull, don't you? It gives me energy! So you can say I'm studying, right? What? I said study. You do study, don't you? Sure! Where are all those law books? Um, check them in the bag. Uh, not there. Um, they're on top of the table, no? Mm, no. Um, under the pillow? No. Sorry, it's for you. They're here somewhere. You know, this vanity is picture <laughs> rest. But it started and slapped to the death. Clear it off and fight some rules. What the fuck's in the bed? What are you doing? Can you live without this? Can you live without that? I don't know what this is. Extra hair? Or a hat? Spend some time improving what's inside your head. Out, out, put it in storage. Sit up, leave it even behind. Just got colder. For the chance you can get it. Why you not dreaming a tale? There's just no way around it. You gotta bounce your tail. You bounce it. Been reading it hard, I can't tell. Second, my third. I don't know, but I'm loving it. Define melon for heaven. Okay, melon for heaven is an, an act of heaven by law. A jaywalking or chewing gum in Singapore. Therefore, melon would say me. An act that's evil in itself. Assault, murder. Why do that for Labor Day? Good. <laughs> Where are you going? Home for the Thanksgiving break, remember? Interesting. What? I predict you will probably have yes. in the bottom percent of your class. What? If you're going for mediocre, you've done great. That's not fair. They laughed at me like you're laughing at you. You can't win if you don't follow through. My adventure, your vacation, black and white. And you always have to be right. Christmas, but it's a real time saver. Shampoo and conditioner in one. Oh! 
Can you believe I lived with that for ten years? That cheap thief never even got me a ring. Oh, we lived together for ten years. Oh my God, Emmett, you're a genius. Uh, now what? <laughs> Lawyers. I don't think you stand for the great common law of Massachusetts. You recognize your ten-year relationship with Miss Otto Montana, the common law marriage. Huh? She has an equal division of property. Huh? Translation? We're taking the dog, stupid. <laughs> Love me again, and I have turned my home upside down. 